I'm very excited about our obstacle avoiding robot. It's like a mini car. If there's any like table or something, it will avoid it. It can turn its head fully backwards. And it can also do like this and this. When we asked about like, do you want to make a robot? Everyone was saying yes, and they were very excited. They, every one of them, they made their choice of own robot, what they want this robot to do for them, like to make life easier, to follow their instructions. Some were writing that the robot will be making a cup of coffee for me. So they will be doing the cleaning work. Somebody wrote that they will do the homework. There was one common thing, which was like, uh, all the robots should walk inside the apartment or room. So they have to avoid the obstacle. That's why we started the initiative to take to make this obstacle avoiding robot. An obstacle avoiding robot means that uh, if we put an object in front of the robot then it can actually detect that there is something in front of it find another, and it would try to find another way to um, pass by. For avoiding the obstacles we used ultrasonic distance sensor which passes a sound in front of it and if the, uh, if the sound bounces back to it then it can understand that uh, there is something in front of it and it needs to find another way to pass by. The body of the robot is made of like a piece of uh, plastic or cardboard you can say. There was also a motor you can attach to the robot that can make it move. And we used Arduino UNO R3 and motor driver. It also need to work so that's why we used uh, wheels, toy wheels and some gear motors. No, the robot is not done. It's There's just a few parts left it was so fun today i put my hand like on the receiver it, it was like uh, it was sensing like that and that like it and i put my hand and it detects like there's an obstacle and he was moving his like the the sensor was moving like that and it was uh, it was not completed today for the faulty motor sir said uh, the next class uh, he, he will bring it and we will make we will make the robot completed. I'm so excited for that. They're very happy with this. Maybe in next class, if we can change this uh, motor driver, we can make it run and hopefully they will be more happy to see this. And also, few of them are quite encouraged to make it by themselves. And probably they will start pursuing a career or they will feel interesting to pursue a career in science and technology. I love doing robotic classes. I also like to do AI robotics class. I really like our uh, robotics class because we can understand how these um, very regular things actually work. It's fun and we can know so many things of electronic and robotics.